What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today I found a pretty fun secret area for you to explore. I've been looking around the map recently, and my time at Summer Isle has definitely paid off because I found some cool spots that you have not seen before. Before we talk about this area, let me explain one of its main components. Around the map in different void zones, indicated by this white screen effect, there are different lotus flowers that can be obtained. There are six lotus types that correspond to each of the core attributes. Strength, Fortitude, Agility, Int, Willpower, and Charisma. There's one for every single one of these. Now by grabbing two of the same color flowers, we can head on over to a crafting bench and combine them for an attribute flask. By drinking this flask with the correct amount of XP, you will gain a stat point in the specific attribute, you know, whatever it's describing. Basically, instead of sitting around for a willpower stat, I can just drink this flask and it will give me a level. It's very similar to the autodidact boon, which favors immediate level progression in any stat you want. But you might be asking, how is this important to a secret area? Well, over at Summer Isle, I guess it's more behind Summer Isle, there's this weird looking wall that I'm interested in. On layer 2 release, this wall would not open for me, but a few weeks later, now I can enter. A strong enough mantra can clear our obstacles and now we can enter the Hidden Grove. This area is very different from a Summer Isle territory and honestly, I'd expect this from a faction like Hive. Summer Company is all about innovation and, well, the economy, so why would they have a small paradise hidden behind a wall? This area gives off a peaceful mood and honestly looks pretty beautiful. On entering, this fountain captivates our attention. What's it doing here? Well, by interacting on this fountain with a full canteen, Lotus will sprout from the ground and grant you some free attributes. And yes, the action will subtract one of your canteen charges, and I am impressed of the attention to detail on such a secret event. Anyway, the fountain does have a pretty lengthy cooldown, and you'll have to wait before you spawn any more of these flowers. This is a really interesting spot to check out, and with all those contractors progressing at Summer Isle, why not pick up some free stats while you're at it? I think it's really cool that in the world of Deep Oaken, there are various secrets to explore. This is just one example that was added in the Layer 2 update, and I'll do my best to keep on exploring. I recommend you do the same and explore as well, but as always, always make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one!